नमस्ते वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग प्रैक्टिस कोर्स इन दिस वीडियो विल डेमोन्स्ट्रेट डिसीजन ट्रीज फॉर रिग्रेशन एज यू नो डिसीजन ट्रीज आर केपेबल ऑफ फाइंडिंग कॉम्प्लेक्स नॉन लिनियर रिलेशनशिप्स इन द डेटा दे कैन परफॉर्म बोथ क्लासिफिकेशन एंड रिग्रेशन टास्क इन दिस स्कूल एप विल डेमोन्स्ट्रेट डिसीजन ट्रीज फॉर रिग्रेशन टास्क विथ कैलिफोर्निया हाउसिंग डेटा सेट एंड डिसीजन ट्री रिग्रेसर क्लास इन एस के लर्न Let's begin by importing all necessary libraries. We import bunch of basic Python libraries for data handling and plotting. Since we are going to use California housing data set, we import fetch underscore California underscore housing API from sklearn dot data set. Then bunch of metrics like mean squared error, mean absolute error, and mean absolute percentage error, and R two score. then there are bunch of model selection utilities that are imported followed by the pre processing utilities the pipeline utility and here we are going to use decision tree regressor as a class and there is a export tree and tree apis that are imported for visualizing the tree in graphical format as well as in the text format as usual it is a good practice to set the seed and we set the random seed to 306 in this case we use shuffle split cv as a cross validation with 10 splits and 20% examples set aside as test examples next we load the data set using fetch_california_housing_api we perform training test split then we perform the further split of the training set into train and development sets we set up a pipeline model where we are using feature scaling as a pre processing step and for feature scaling we are using standard scaler and then we are defining the decision tree regressor with max step equal to 3 we perform the training with cross validate and here we use all of the training data we use shuffle split cv and negative mean absolute error as a scoring mechanism so after performing the cross validation based training what we obtain is the matrix on the train set and test set so we have the mean absolute error of 0.59 on the training set and 0.593 on the test set the standard deviation is pretty small which indicates that the the mean absolute error is is consistent across different validation sets let us visualize the tree that we have learned through this process so there are two ways to visualize a tree using a tree diagram and second is a text based diagram so we need to call a fit function on the pipeline object before printing the tree otherwise the print function returns uh, errors So here, after calling the fit on the pipeline, we use the estimator, or specifically we specify the tree for plot underscore tree, and here we also specify the feature names. So what you see on your screen is a tree with depth of three, and in this tree we see the split criteria, which is. which is mid income or median income less than 0.62 there is a split on median income also in the at the second level of the tree then the third level splits are different for for different branches here we are splitting based on average room size here based on average occupancy in these two cases and here again based on median income and we also print the squared error for each of the node and number of samples and the values we can also convert this visual representation into text representation by calling export underscore test function and in export underscore test we basically get the rule sets so this is more like if else conditions as as we can convert this tree into this rule set then we use this tree for prediction by calling the predict function and passing the test feature matrix as input based on the predicted labels 
we print bunch of evaluation metrics like mean absolute error, mean squared error and R2 score. The mean absolute error is 0 0.60, mean squared error is 0.64 and R2 score is 0 0.51. Now let's try to improve this model by tuning the hyperparameter. There are two hyperparameters in case of trees. One is max depth and second is mean underscore sample underscore split. And these two hyperparameters are of our interest for this particular exercise and we will try to tune them. So here we define the parameter grid where we want to try max step from 1 to 20 and mean sample splits from 2 to 8. We define a grid search CV object. So here we are using grid search CV for hyperparameter tuning. We specify the, the tree estimator and the parameter grid which is specified over here. And we are going to use again the shuffle split CV as a way of performing the cross validation. We are using negative mean absolute error for scoring. We fit the grid search CV object with, with all of the training data which includes the combined training features and combined training labels. So we are using the combined training data which has got training as well as development set. After performing the hyperparameter search, we found out the best mean absolute error obtained on the training set as well as on the test set. So you can see that on the training set, the best mean absolute error that is obtained is 0.278 and on test set, it is 0.428. And the best parameter values for the tree are the max def equal to 11 and mean sample split equal to 5. We retrain our model with the best hyperparameter values. These best hyperparameter values are set over here and then we call the fit function on our pipeline and then we obtain the, the retrained pipeline with the best hyperparameter values. We perform the prediction on the test set and calculate various metrics on the test set in order to evaluate the retrained pipeline. Here we see that the mean absolute error has gone down to 0.42 and the R2 score has improved to 0.6 set. So if we compare this with the values that we were having over here, here the mean absolute error was 0 0.60 that is now reduced to 0.42 and R2 score has jumped from 0.51 to 0.68. So in this video, we use decision trees for regression problem with California housing data set. We also demonstrate how to perform hyperparameter search and saw that after performing hyperparameter search and retraining the pipeline, some of the metrics like R2 score, mean absolute error and mean squared errors improved.